Hey guys, it's Mama J, and terrific Tuesday to you. And yes, today is day two of Countdown to Repticon. And if you missed yesterday, I wanted to let you know that this is a five-day vlog where each day I'm going to highlight an animal that you might see if you visit a Repticon show and hopefully get you excited about the weekend's upcoming events. So let's get started. Today we are talking about leopard geckos, and this is my leopard gecko, Sophie. Now these guys are known by the scientific name Eublepharis macularis. Now how's that for a tongue twister for you? But basically translated, that means good eyelids. And one thing that you will know is these guys have movable eyelids. So a great scientific name. Now leopard geckos also get their name because of the spots on their back. Now these are a small lizard of about 10 inches in length and they are native to the country of Asia. A lot of times you will find them in the rocky deserts or grassland regions there. They are a nocturnal species which means that they're active at night and during the daytime a lot of times they'll hide in caves or burrows. Another fun fact about leopard geckos is that they have these big wide tails. Now they actually store water and fat in their tails and the reason they do that is that this is an adaptation that helps protect them in a time of drought or a food shortage. Now as I mentioned these guys have movable eyelids whereas not all geckos do. But they are able, even though they're able to blink, they can clean their eyes by licking it with their tongue, which is a really neat thing. Now leopard geckos are a great pet to have in captivity. As far as tank requirements, uh, you could start a juvenile or a baby leopard gecko in a tank about 10 gallons, but I would recommend a 20 gallon long for an adult, and that way that gives them plenty of room to stretch out and move around. Now these guys uh, are insectivores, which means that they eat insects only. They eat things like crickets, mealworms, dubia roaches, and things of that nature are all favorites of leopard geckos. As far as things that you would need for leopard geckos, you would need a heat source, such as a heat mat. Um, another thing that would be helpful is a thermostat to make sure that you regulate that heat mat. And you might ask, well, why do I need a heat source for a leopard gecko? Well, it's because they are, uh, like all reptiles, are cold-blooded animals. And what that means is that they have to thermoregulate in order to maintain their body temperature. So that means that the animal would go to a warm side to warm up and go to a cool side to cool down. Uh, they're unlike us in the fact that they can't go put on a sweater or a coat if they feel cold. Um, Another thing that you would need in a leopard gecko tank is a humid hide. And the reason that you would need that is uh, in times of shedding. Overall, these guys make incredible pets. And they come in all kinds of beautiful morphs and patterns. And definitely one of my favorite reptiles. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And I hope that you enjoyed this introduction to leopard geckos. Now be sure and uh, click the subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification so that you will know exactly when the next vlog comes out, which will be sometime tomorrow. And we will be talking about Pac-Man frogs tomorrow. So you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, Repticon Knoxville is coming your way.